In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect bowl of creamy, thick, and rich oatmeal in your microwave. I am also going to share with you my two biggest tips on how to prevent your oatmeal from bubbling over. For this video, I'm using old fashioned oats, which are the larger flakes. I'm gonna place half a cup of oats in my bowl. Technically, all you need is oats and some type of liquid to make oatmeal in the microwave. You can use water, but today I'm using milk with water, a little diluted because I want that rich and creaminess that the milk gives me, but I don't want to only use milk because then my oatmeal will come out really thick. But because oatmeal can be made with lots of things, I'm going to add some brown sugar to my bowl and then some cinnamon, a pinch of salt for flavor, with your spoon, mix it all around. And now is when we actually pour our liquid. Give it a stir. Let's bring it to the microwave. Let's cook this for a total of three minutes while making sure that it doesn't bubble over. And now that it's ready, let's take it out of the microwave right onto my board. Check out this rich and thick texture of the oats. Now, as they sit here, they are gonna absorb more of the moisture. So why not, in the meantime, let me slice up some strawberries to put over my oats and some banana slices and check it out. So good. My tips on how to prevent the oatmeal from bubbling over. Tip number one is to use a bigger bowl than you think it's necessary. That way the oatmeal has enough room to expand as it cooks when the liquid and the oatmeal are boiling. And tip number two is to make sure that you stop your microwave from time to time, especially in the last minute of cooking. You gotta stand by it and watch it. Open it, use your spoon to give it a stir and give it a pause for about 10 seconds so the volume of bubbling over comes down and you can close the door and push start and keep cooking because otherwise you'll be left with a mess like this one to clean up. And if you love oatmeal recipes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more of them for you on my channel and I'll link some below. See you next time.